So once we've set up our sections and our scenes and our styles, it's time to move into layout and put together our drawing. The first thing that we're going to do is go into layout, uh, document setup, and uh, make sure that our paper size is set to the correct size, 24 inches by 18 inches. I also want to make sure that I've got my layer set up. I want to have a construction line layer for any uh, guiding lines. I'm going to have a SketchUp files layer for all my imported SketchUp files, a text layer, and a text line layer for any other kind of line work that I'm going to use. So click onto the construction line to make sure you're in construction line and we're going to set up a preliminary horizontal line um, along our page to, uh, to set up where our plan is going to go. So once you've set up your construction lines, it's time to insert your uh, SketchUp model into place. I'm going to change my layer to SketchUp files, and I'm going to file insert my flower kiosk. You'll see that when you bring in your SketchUp file, it's going to default to the last thing that you uh, last view that you set up. So I'm going to change this view to plan. I'm going to adjust the scale to quarter inch. And I'm going to change the style to presentation section. I'm going to go ahead and move my bounding boxes into an appropriate spot so I can see my entire drawing. And in this case, because my section is cut uh, 180 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my drawing 180 degrees and I'm going to drop it in place. You can go ahead and move your model by dragging or if you want to fine tune it you can use your left, right, up and down arrow keys to, to get it into place in smaller increments more accurately. Once you have one model in place, you can quickly copy and paste and then drag other models off to the side to create multiple SketchUp models. And I'm going to go back into my view and I'm going to select Section 2. I'm going to change the scale to quarter inch, presentation mode to section. I'm going to adjust my bounding box. And then I'm going to drag and place this section in the appropriate spot. For my final section, I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm going to drag to the right. And in SketchUp mode, I'm going to change my view to section 1. Change my scale to quarter inch and my presentation mode to section. I'm going to make some minor adjustments. And I'm going to construct on my construction line layer check for myself by drawing a 45 degree line and two horizontal lines for my plan just to check and make sure that my scales are correct. So that's the outside wall of my section. And 
I'm going to move my station point to the left. I'm going to rotate this line 45 degrees. And I'm going to draw another line for that intersection point. And you can see that the section and the plan align. Now if I was going to do this by hand, I would construct those lines before I drew the section, but obviously because we're extruding these models, uh, we don't have to. But it's a good check nonetheless. At this point, you can turn off your construction lines and you should have a pretty clean layout of plan, section, and section.